Hey there, this is Cameron from Hobbytown here to tell you a little bit about Imhotep. This is a great game that came out from Cosmos last year. So today I'm gonna show you how to set it up for your first game and give you a little bit of a gameplay. So let's crack it open. So this is the initial setup for Imhotep for four players. Each player will take a number of stones and receive a couple of them to start off with. They're gonna set up one of their scoring stones over here on the scoring track. Then you're gonna set up the board on A side, that's the beginner side, along with a couple boats that you're gonna be hauling these stones into. And otherwise you set up the marketplace with a couple cards and you're good to go. So the theme of Imhotep is that all the players are builders in ancient Egypt with the goal of using their stones to build the monuments the best they can and earn the most points in doing so. On your turn, you have the option to do one of four things. The typical thing to do is to take one of your stones and put it on any one of the ships. Another thing that you can do is once a ship is full or at the minimum, you can ship it out to any one of the five locations and do the actions. The third thing that you can do is if you've used up all your stones off your rock sled, is to go back to your quarry and pick off three new stones that you'll be able to use. And the fourth thing that you can do is if you picked up a blue card, you can use it to break one of the rules. So here we fast forwarded a little bit and looked at what the gameplay would look like mid game. Um, as you can see, a couple people have bought cards. We're building up our pyramid. The temple has been worked on. The burial chamber is moving along and these obelisks are stacking up. I wanted to give you a brief overview of what each of the different locations does when you land there. So if somebody was to take this boat and ship it to the marketplace, they just lock it into the dock. The brown player would get the first pick of any card that they want. Then the gray person would get to pick one, and then the white player. You're trying to collect sets of statues or other cards that'll give you special abilities or victory points at the end of the game. If you ship it here to the pyramids, you simply place the first player on each spot where it belongs. And the higher up you go, the more points that they'll be worth. If this player decided to ship it to the temple, you simply take the first one and go left to right. Any cubes that you can see from above get you points. If you ship it to the burial chamber, in a similar fashion, you just place it first to last. And you're trying to make large groupings of your same color. And finally, obviously if you ship it to the obelisks, you just stack it on top and you try to get the highest. You go six rounds, and then that's the end of the game. Tally up your final scores and see who wins. One of the best things about Imhotep is that once you've gotten a good feel for the base game, you can flip any one of these tiles over to the B side to add a little bit of depth to the game. It adds some strategy and makes it a little bit tougher, but it still keeps it at that light, casual 40 minute game. So if Imhotep is something that looks interesting to you, be sure to stop by your local hobby town and pick a copy up or any one of our other great games that we have in stock. This is Cameron, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.